guys. How are you today? So I have some things I want to share with you. One of them is trying to get away. <laughs> um, okay, so over in uh, my Facebook group that I teach in with my friends Ann Williamson, Jerry Bellini, and Cindy Utter, we are doing this new, new thing that we are all just loving that we've never heard of anybody else doing before. And we're calling it ATB, Artist Training Brush. And it is super cool. So you take your old brushes that are past it, that are going to be relegated either to a glue brush or the trash bin. And I'm sorry if I sound funny and I seem like I'm out of breath. I'm having some asthma issues right now. All right, so anyway. So you take those brushes that would generally be past it or headed to the bin, headed to just the glue only stack, and you, but they've been well loved and well used and you, you decorate them up, meaning that you don't make them pretty, you make them grungier. You add paint to them, you add glitter glue to them, actually make the bristles stiffer, put a tag on it, and send it off to a friend and trade brushes with a friend. When you get it, you display them in a jar in your art room. I'll show you my jar. My jar is growing. And you have, at some point, a beautiful jar full of used paint brushes, full of inspiration and good creative thoughts from all your creative artistic friends. And um, I'm going to link the video for making these in the description below in case you missed it. Um, this is the brush from my dear friend Cindy Utter, and I love this one. I love it especially because the handle's loose. I have so many brushes like that. I'm glad it's not just me. And um, she didn't fix it, and I love that she didn't fix it. Um, so she sent me this brush. We traded brushes, and um, when she sent me the brush, she sent me this package of stuff, which I love. Um, a couple of things that are in this package I'm going to explain to you at the end, and they do have to do with my year 2017. And again, if you want to be part of that group and see what's going on um, and um, see more about them, um, then come and join us over there. I do think this thing was probably on here, but anyway. Um, so one of the things she sent me was this little um, pad of Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press watercolor paper. Um, I love an, this pad, and I love the little tiny size of it. It's great, of course, for taking with you on the go, but also it is great for doing my color keys inside of some of my color palettes, um, my watercolor palettes. It's the perfect size. I don't have to cut the paper down. I love that. Um, there was this um, tag in here, which is really pretty. And also this one, which I can't wait to use, like in a grab and glue or something like that. There were these bottle cap necklaces, and like a, this one fell off, so, uh, but this one is in here. So I have two of those. Some painted papers. I'll explain what this is in a minute. I actually did this. Um, some images for grab and glue. Now, this one. <laughs> this one I have turned, I don't know what that is. What is that? It looks like a letter A, but it looks like it should be something else. I don't know what it is. It's really intriguing. But anyway, so I'm going to add that to my grab and glue. Some really cool key tissue paper. More painty papers. Really cool painty papers. I wonder if these are some of her 12 by 12 scrapbooking um, I think they are. So she had a bunch of scrapbooking paper that she wasn't using um, anymore and instead of throwing it away she decided to jelly print on it and I think that's what this is. This is really cool. I think this one is one too. I think so. I think the alphabets were in the background. That is cool. And then some more um, collage images for glue books, grab and glue books. Oops. Um, string. I do think this was around like the paintbrush or something. <laughs> I think I took this apart to get the brush out, so I don't remember. Some clear printed clear plastic. Cool. More little images. She's always sending me piles of little images, which I love because I can add them to my grab and glue. 
And there's some cool ones here. Sunglasses, people, some stamped ones. A little flower is cute. Some stickers. Oops. Little bits of paper. All of these things are great. Some tags for grab and glue. A tea bag. A paint chip. So these are all great for grab and glue. Some little small penny paper scraps. Oh, there's some more images. See, I, oh, and there's another piece of plastic. See, I just literally just opened this up enough to get the brush out. Okay, I don't know what that is. It looks like an eyeball. I think it's a dessert, but it looks, certainly looks like an eyeball. That's going to be fun to use on a page. There's some cool images in here. I see a shoe. Can I get that? Let's see. I think it's a shoe. Yep. So, I love that. Painting papers. Oh, more images. Look at they're just falling everywhere. Oh, look at that feather. Okay, grab and glue. <laughs> grab and glue, grab and glue. Uh, okay, some more painty papers. Some beautiful, look at these. Metallic paint on black paper. It's like the way to do metallic paint and do it right. I'm telling you. I love all these painty papers. Look at these. Now, some of these are on. Like, they feel like, um, you know, and they look like they might be pages from a, a delusions journal because they're that manila file folder paper. And I do know she took a class with Dina, um, not Dina Wigley, hello, Diane Reevely, and as part of the class they did take pages out of the journal, so I think that's what those are. Book pages painty papers. It's just a really great stack of stuff. Now, when you're watching the ATB video about the brushes, um, one thing I do say in there, and I will keep saying, is you don't have to send anything with the brush. It's about trading the brush. If you choose with your partner to send things, that's cool, but you don't have to. I love these. I'm pretty sure these are delusions. At least this one is a delusions page. I don't know about this one. This one feels like it might be watercolor paper. So thank you, Cindy, very much. If you've never heard of Cindy Etter, oh my God, where have you been? <laughs> I will link her channel in the description below. Go check her out. Great artist, fabulous person all around. And I love her bits and pieces. Now these were done part of, as part of the My Year um, 2017 um, uh, Facebook group. And I do want to um, share them here with you all in case you've seen the other videos or you're part of the group. These are what these things look like dried. Now these um, two kinds of embellishments from Trash I made and they were videos you saw them on the last day of my week in March. And um, this is the one that's on a dryer sheet and this is what it looks like on the painty paper after everything is all dry. And you can see that the dryer sheet um, um, embellishment um, is almost transparent. You can see the painty paper through it and you get just a little bit of the texture of the dryer sheet um, and then of course the painty swirls which is what I wanted. It really is reminiscent of the feel of the mulberry paper um, handmade lace pattern so that's exactly what I wanted. I love it. I'll be doing more of that. Um, and these are the alcohol ink um, plastics that what I call painted uh, plastic stained glass um, these are really great. These are um, them all dry and they really do look like pieces of watercolored um, glass and they are super cool to put over a page um, that has either no paint on it or just a little bit and they make a really great addition to your journal pages. So I love them. I wanted to show you what they look like when they were dry. So there you have it. All right. That's it for today. Thank you so much, Cindy. And if you want to be part of the My Year Facebook group and see what these things are all about and all the other fun stuff that we're getting up to over there um, or my other Facebook group, uh, you want to send me happy mail, um, you want to ask me a question, you want to support my channel by shopping in the Etsy shop, all of the links and email addresses and all that stuff are in the description below so please check it out like share and subscribe if you would and the most important thing go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and i'll see you later bye guys